Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back, glad you're here. So I'm in my backyard, yep, at the Con Xbox, and I'm trying to load more equipment. Uh, I had to drag this thing up onto the trailer. No, I didn't do it by myself. Uh, I have a healthy helper, but he's camera shy. He's hanging out in the back. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you who it is. He's grinning at me right now. Uh, anyway, we, we manhandled this thing. Oh, canceled right there, you said the man word. We manhandled this thing uh, into the trailer. Uh, we're gonna strap it down. Hopefully it stays and doesn't fall through my newish floor. And uh, we're gonna hit the road, drive this thing across town, and then uh, unload it. So stay tuned. This is gonna be a very good video. See. Strap clicks. There we go. So far, so good. Ew, chicken poop. There we go. Boing. You hear that? Yeah, baby. Are you getting the seaweed off? Are you getting the seaweed off? Yeah. All right, get it out of there. Get all the seaweed out. Thank you. It's from the pond. Is it stuck? We'll get it all out. Uh, that'll work, I think, for now-ish, maybe. We're gonna find out. It's either gonna fall over or it's not, right? <laughs> Okay, we got extra straps on. So there's there's four primaries, those are the red ones. Then we've got a backup, which loops around to that side. And then another backup, which loops around to that side. And then I have this one, so just in case I gotta hit the brakes a lot, that one's there too. So I think it's gonna stay. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's roll. Woohoo. Oh, starting the engine. I gave you guys mileage last night, so you're not getting it again today. Deal with it. Is it gonna work? Yep, it's gonna stay for now. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're off. Exiting the driving way. Who's that? What are you doing here? I don't know you. Ooh, I like his trailer. I need one of those. And his lull. Mm-hmm. We're back. I feel like I just left, but now I'm back again. You know, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking right here would be a good spot for that compressor because it's outside. It might mitigate some noise a little bit. You know, someone has said that they can see the ridges on your key and then copy your key through a video because there's only like certain, like X amount of ways to make the key work or whatever. And I'm going, these are, uh, that's insane, that's intense. But I guess there's a special set of skills for everyone. Oh. Uh, here, Lumens, powering on. Yeah, hey, it's just the way I left it. It's good. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking in order to get that out without having to manhandle it is I'm gonna pull the truck up over here and then I can use this forklift. Pick it up, drive it over here, drop it off in that corner. That's the plan, so let's, uh, let's see if this is gonna work. Restarting the engine. Let's go ahead and pull up and get out of the middle of the driveway here. This is either gonna work or it's not. So, <laughs> let's find out. Right about, let's see, here is probably good. Sweet. Parking the auto. Pew. All right, forklift time. We need this. Restarting the engine. There we go. Moving on up. And nice. Okay, that one does that, that one does that. Okay, I know how this works. All right. Now 
loud noises. Get out of here. Might freeze. Wow, you guys haven't seen me drive a forklift since uh, I worked at the dealership. It's been a while. I like forklifts. They make things easier to do. Yeah, now we're cooking. Moving up. We're not gonna pick it up with the boom. We're gonna get in real close and just tie it around. There we go. Right up in there. All right, time to strap it in. Parking brake, powering down. Okay, we've got two straps on this side and then the chain wrapped around that side over the hook. So we're just gonna give this a straight up. And we're gonna back up, let it down so it's more safer, -er, and then we'll spin it around, pull it forward to its new parking space. That's the plan. Stopping the engine. tight over here. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Whee, you're doing it wrong. All right. Let's go for glory. Move it on up. down yeah a little bit more down just to make sure well that's the other way we went down not up there we go I think we're gonna make it need some gas we made it moving back up Clear the guide wires, clear the, the crane. We're not going to clear the crane, I don't think. There we go, we're good. It's working. I'd say right about here. Parking the forklift, parking brake. Got it. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Alright. Let's see if these levers work without me sitting in it. 
Yes, they do. I love deleted safety features in heavy machinery. There we go. Stay. Woohoo! Got it. You think a uh, car jack would put, help you push it forward? Um, well, just to get it in, in yeah. its corner. Um, no, I'll just rock it in. We, it, it'll slide. I think. I hope. I guess we'll find out. Because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't. I'm not gonna lift it again. That thing's smashed in. This thing fell over once. <laughs> it fell over on the tool truck. It was not, uh, uh, he didn't have it strapped down very well, and the dude was driving and then it fell over on the way to my house. It saved me 500 bucks, but this, that got bent and that got bent, but still, he dropped it. Not everybody can haul my heavy loads. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go park this thing back where it goes. Oh, no, no, go in, go in. Right. Right there. Thank you, sir. Tim click. Yeah. And park and brake. Sweet. done with you for now uh, I think that looks pretty good there I like that spot what do you guys think you know the drill let me know down in the comment section below okay everybody I am uh, packing up this show we're getting out of here it's it's getting late in the day not really but it's not early I need to go do the voting thing today's voting day it is election 30 and uh, I'm not gonna miss that so I'm gonna close up and, uh, and vacate the premises. We've got the compressor. I think this is where it's gonna live. Um, I have to wire it still. I haven't done that yet, but it's gonna go through the wall up and over uh, to the panel that's on the wall over here. Uh, we did a lot of work with these lights. I know you can't tell right now, but it's, it's getting there slowly but surely. Um, everything that you see is now on a switch instead of the plugs with the exception of these lights over here. This area is as organized as I can get it. I uh, put some lights underneath of the, the metal support right here. I'll do another string under there. That way that's all lit up and then I'll, I'll put some eight footers in up the stairs on the ceiling later on, but that's for another day. So uh, this is uh, functioning as much as I'm going to get to function for right now. Uh, where's my, there, that one. Those are all on a power circuit or a power strip still. I know power strips are everywhere, but it'll work for for the time being. Fix fan power down. Mm. I think I needed to show you guys uh, some other goodies. Yeah, I did. Talked about this in uh, yesterday's video. Hang on, let's get this out. Come here. Loud noises. Tie rods, remember the tie rods? Not tie rods, uh, Pittman arm, idler arm. There we go, I can't get those words out properly. I'm terrible. That is, that's the upgraded HD idler arm bracket that's going on. Uh, also a PPE or a PSC part. 
I can't read it. Stamping's weird. What does it say? PPE? Yeah, that's PPE. Okay. I don't know them, but they do make heavy duty stuff. That's the big idler. This one bolts onto that one, and that bolts to the center link. And then this one. That's the Pitman. Yeah. Let's make sure this fits. Come here. Warning, I don't need the warning anymore. So violent. A little bit of finesse goes a long way sometimes. Smarter, not harder. There. Just want to make sure that this lines up appropriately before I take it all apart later on. And it does. Hooray. It makes me happy. I like it. Quick. So yeah, we're we're nearly at a state of potential operative. What's the word? I can almost operate. We're getting there. There we go. More than one word. That's how I do it. So I can nearly operate effectively in this building, and that's good because I have a, uh, a customer arriving tomorrow morning, and I, I hope I got everything that I need to to service said vehicle. Except for more lights. I'm gonna need more lights. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. I forgot. The underglows are back on again. Yeah, fancy. But I got this weird shadow cast thing going on right here, so I need lights up there to make that go away because I can't see what's inside of my drawers. Powering down. And even the bag says, we're done. No more. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I'm, I'm going to listen to the bag and the glove, and we're calling this one quits. Finalized light powering down. And, oh, this is the cool part. I got a lot of these on switches now. Pew. Yes. So, uh, that being said, as always, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, you know the drill. Let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. And if you did not enjoy this video, go watch something else. <laughs> uh, again, and as always, thank you for watching. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Almost forgot. Goodbye, office. Oh, I didn't show you guys, did I? Put the carpet in. <laughs> well, I, I, I unrolled it. Carpet's in. That's up. I showed you this last night. What am I thinking? See you guys later. In a transmission. Whoa, runaway garage door. Whoa, slow down. Door click.